that beige neutral material is a linen. I also hand spun uh, wools for the green and the red. Ellen Weisbord describing the look behind this piece of artwork she created for a series she calls Carry the Weight. It actually uh, began before the pandemic where I was experiencing um, deaths in the family and family illness and I was relating to the uh, personal heaviness and weight, but then suddenly the pandemic hit and, and it was universal heaviness and weight for everybody. So the three pieces that were during the pandemic, of which this is one, really were about the weight of the pandemic, sheltering in place. The New York Museum of Art is hoping visitors will be inspired by the art of Weisbord and other New Jersey artists. They're all part of this year's New Jersey Arts Annual Revision and Respond exhibit. The theme Revision and Respond is very open, so to really allow the artists to submit works that showed how they responded to the tumultuous events of the past several years, racial injustice, um, the pandemic especially, but all sorts of issues that have been um, affecting everyone in our world and so the all of these artists are allowing the visitor a way to understand the world that has happened to all of us recently. After receiving more than 1800 submissions the exhibit showcases 50 pieces of art created by 45 artists choosing to express their creativity using various materials and techniques. All of the artists are from New Jersey, with 14 of the state's counties being represented. I really believe in the work of New Jersey artists. I mean, even growing up and going to art school and studying art history and visual culture, it's, it was always about New York or like overseas, right? Like London or Paris or something like that. And I often think that New Jersey artists don't get the recognition they deserve. Um, and so I was really excited to be able to be a part of something that um, highlighted the work that we have here in New Jersey, especially the artists here in Newark, New Jersey. And the museum really wants to make sure visitors are involved. They've set up codes like this next to every piece of artwork where you can just use your phone, scan it, and leave your reaction as to what you think about the artwork. We really hope that visitors will take away a sense of the power of artists to really revision and respond to the world around them and offer a way for the visitor to, by looking at this art, by experiencing the art, really allow them to start to process the, their own emotions that have been so often difficult in the past year or so. Visitors will also have a chance to take virtual tours with some of the artists starting next week. The exhibit will stay open through August 22nd. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper.